Nowadays, every space enthusiast talks about traveling to Mars and colonizing it. But not too many people discuss about the possibility of a trip to the moon. The nearest thing to Earth is the moon and still few scientists and space exploration fans speak about it. Since the time of moon landing that happened about 50 years ago, regardless of it being real or fake, not a single astronomer, astronaut and cosmologist think about make it happen again, or for the first time if it had not happened with Apollo 11 mission. Instead, they have been busy with finding a way to colonize Mars and totally relinquish the notion of the moon as the most viable option before exploring other planets in our solar system. Cosmologists and investors in space programs have to take a steady approach to reach their goals to discover the space and universe, and the first step is to explore our moon. However, there is one person who wants to take that step, and that person is no one else other than Elon Musk, the founder of a SpaceX organization. Back in February 2017, SpaceX announced that the company had had a plan to send humans to the moon, and it stated at the time that already two private individuals had dispersed a remarkable amount of down payment to secure their places in the lunar flight. In September 2018, Elon Musk revealed who would be the first tourist of the moon trip in front of a group of journalists. That individual is Yuzako Maezawa, a 42-year-old Japanese billionaire, founder and owner of Zozo Town, Japan's biggest online clothing retailer. Maezawa is also an avid art lover and wants to invite and pay for a lunar trip of between six to eight artists to accompany him to depict the moon when they fly by it. If everything goes as planned, the trip will happen in 2023 and the journey will be circumnavigating the moon without landing on it. In order to send the tourists to the moon, SpaceX has to first complete the development of its Big Falcon rocket or BFR. The BFR costs about $5 billion to be constructed and apparently most of the costs and expenses have been paid by Maezawa. Elon Musk states that the progress of the rocket would have not been possible without Maezawa's help and Musk thanks him for that. Elon Musk also spoke about the characteristics and the specifications of the BFR. The rocket height is 118 meters and its diameter would be 9 meters. The Big Falcon rocket is capable of carrying up to 100 passengers, but for the moon trip, except the designated passengers, the rest of the rocket will be a skeleton crew. Most of the rocket will be filled with fuel, food, water and other necessary items in case something goes wrong. One of the interesting features of the BFR is having three rear fins which also operate as landing pads. Moreover, the rocket has two front fins 
that with combination of two of the rear fins will actuate and serving like a small wings. According to Musk, the third rear fin will be built merely to be landing leg. And the reason that it looks like a fin is to make the rocket symmetrical and aesthetic. Also, Musk states that before the 2023 launch date, SpaceX is going to perform hopper tests. In 2020, the high altitude and high velocity flights will undergo. And if these tests turn to be acceptable and good, the first flight to Earth's orbit will take place sometime in 2021. Ultimately, before the Maezawa's lunar trip, SpaceX will have an unmanned test flight to make sure that everything is safe and organized. The journey to the moon and returning to Earth would take four to five days. However, Maezawa and the artists that will be with him during the flight must go under several intensive and severe preparations. According to Per Wimmer, the founder astronaut of Virgin Galactic, who also is friend of Elon Musk, Maezawa and his entourage have to be prepared for the state of G-force at launch and feeling of weightlessness. There are aerospace facilities to train astronauts to be ready for these hurdles and obstacles. Wimmer says that there are centrifuges in US and Russia which simulate the G-force experience at launch and reentry. The centrifuges have large rotating arm to imitate the forces of upwards of three times Earth gravity and even more. The astronauts are spun inside a pod attached to the arm. If space travelers do not undergo this test, they might black out when they are in real life situation inside a spacecraft. The reason for them blacking out is because of their blood pulling in the lower part of their body while being exposed to the force of a space flight. The other physical difficulty for the space travelers is the feeling of weightlessness, which can make astronauts feel like they are about to throw up. The preparations for this obstacle would be flying on zero gravity flights that mimic weightlessness for a very short duration at a time. The weightlessness will be with astronauts for the whole journey, and this is something that they physically and mentally must get used to it. Moreover, there are other difficulties that Maezawa and his flow crew have to endure. Those are a small dose of radiation and extreme psychological reactions. Exposing to radiation would be less of a concern compared with being trapped inside a capsule for five days because being exposed to radiation for five days would equal to radiation that a person gets from a CT scan. However, psychological consequences could be mental freakouts and forgetting their role and goal of being in a spaceship in the first place. Imagine something goes wrong and the passengers go into a panic mode, the possibility of them being able to steer the spacecraft back to Earth would be minuscule. Maezawa and other travelers must have clear expectations and understand their roles and responsibilities. In order to achieve that, the group has to be trained together before they leave Earth. This will uh, help the passengers to know each other better and also space travel experts could observe that how the astronauts react to stressors, especially when there might be a conflict within the team or if there were emergency events they have to respond and rally to. This training alleviates the friction between the crew and could relieve a bit of anxiety from them. As Elon Musk emphasizes, 
the moon trip is not walking in the park and it will be a really dangerous journey even if everything goes according to plan. I believe many of us don't want to be in the first flight to the moon or any other planet. However, I am certain that most of the people would like to see the moon up close and also to observe Earth, our lovely planet, from moon's point of view. But the difficulties and dangers of exploring the space would make us wait and see what is going to happen when Maezawa and his crew come back from the flight to the moon. Thereafter, maybe we would be in one of those touristic flights to moon or other planets. Nevertheless, what is important is to admire and applaud Elon Musk and Maezawa to make their space travel and tourism a topic to talk and dream about. Let's hope that everything will go as planned so we can witness one giant leap in humanity's progress.